Okay, YouTube, we're back for another segment. This may be my number one most asked question, and it has to do with, Jack, how do you learn all these patterns? Jack, you just talked about a rising wedge into an inverted head and shoulders, into a bullish bat, into an Elliott wave. Just kidding, he died poor. All that stuff. How did you learn all that? So we're going to go over that today, hopefully in a very quick way. And the idea behind understanding this, and this is more important than, uh, than learning the patterns themselves, but the reason you want to pick up on these patterns is because they all have a, a type of probability associated with them. A rising wedge has a certain percentage chance of breaking down. A falling wedge has a certain percentage chance of breaking up. So the idea would be if, as you're falling towards support, right? The price is trending down towards support. If you can identify a falling wedge right as it gets to support, well, that could be a really big indication that things are going to rally up. So not only do you have your support giving you that inclination, but you also have an isolated, a lower time frame pattern, which historically and with a high degree of probability will likely break up. So you could use these two things together to give you confidence in your trade or to help you set your stops or whatever. Um, so let's jump right into it and hopefully you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so we're going to come right back to where we left off before. We have our resistance line. We have our resistance zone, I should say. We have our support zone. And what are we looking at right now? So in the lower time frame, this has a very interesting thing going on. So we have a sort of, uh, we have higher highs and higher lows, but in the fashion where, or in such a fashion that it's almost pointing straight up, you can see that it's, it's compressing as it goes up. So the upward trend is very good, but here's the thing. If you didn't know any better, you would immediately say, oh, this is likely very bullish. Um, when in fact it is the opposite. So this is actually a sort of reversal pattern. So the fact that we remember we have our resistance zone and we have this rising wedge heading toward the resistance, that's actually not a great time to take a stab with the new law. If you want to get into the specifics, like the probabilities of a rising wedge breaking up versus down, that kind of thing, um, I want to introduce you to Flashbang with their white scream here, uh, the pattern site. So all you got to do is, and you'll get better and better and better over time. And I'll do another video where I go over my favorite patterns. But for now, I just kind of want to introduce the concept, right? This is this is how this works. If you haven't picked up on it from me yet, I want to very gently introduce you to something that will circle back. We'll get a little, little more advanced down the road. Uh, but the pattern, if you wanted to look this up, the pattern site rising wedge. It will link you to this specific page, the one I was just on, where you can read at your heart's content, the average rise and decline, the average throwback, um, how often it meets its targets. Well, 63% of the time it will meet its target. And then it will go on to explain how can you actually measure where the target is? Oh, well, if you measure from the low to the high, you extend that from the breakout, you know, and it goes on to all of that. So this is a very, very, very important site. I want you guys to get familiar with it. Um, and this has all kinds of stuff. So the pattern site ascending triangle. Okay. Well, why did Jack, where did an ascending triangle come from? Well, because a very, very smart technical analyst by the name of Josh Olshowitz has reasonably so suggested that what we're looking at here, let me, let me change the colors so that your eyeballs can kind of adjust. What we're looking at is in fact, a ascending triangle, which is a sort of bullish pattern. It can be a reversal of sorts. It can be something that's in the middle of a bullish trend where it's a trend continuation. It could be all kinds of things. Um, but the fact that he's pointing to this and saying, hey, this could likely, you know, whether it breaks up now or even if it comes back and does it later, this could likely result in a upward breaking pattern. That's worth at least considering. Doesn't mean it will happen, but what it means is that was very, very good of him to identify this as a possibility. So again, trading is all about odds and possibilities. Um, so this is something that you need to factor in. And I will never tell you exactly in any of my videos or live streams, I'll never tell you exactly what to do or how to trade or whatever. Um, but what I will do is try to expose you to both sides. There's always a buyer. There's always a seller. They both feel that they're on the right side of the trade. So I'm going to, in, in as many cases as I can, 
try to put together a coherent argument for both the bears and the bulls and then leave the rest up to you okay guys i think that's going to do it like i said i just wanted to give you a very little taste of this a little exposure to these patterns and kind of what to look for um, through my live streams i often will talk about this you know one of the big ones that we were watching was this head and shoulders um, up here at as a sort of top signal we had this rising wedge that ultimately broke down we add we had other things that we used to correlate that maybe other videos will talk about this um, but for now we're out of time so i'm going to call it there thank you for watching be sure to like and subscribe we'll see you next time okay guys i think that's going to do it this time thank you for your support be sure to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash CryptoJack and also on Twitter at underscore CryptoJack. Thank you guys. I'll see you next time.